Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one Jonas should man on sticks. I don't know how to use the sticks, I guess. I messed it all up. <laughs> We're playing uh, Madden 20, the Minnesota Vikings. Ooh, late. I was going to say something I shouldn't have said, so I stopped. What were you going to say? They said they, I was, I was going to talk about what Vikings do, but that's not appropriate for the channel. What do they do, Joe? They are in pillage. Oh, and plunder. Pillage yeah. and plunder. Pillage and plunder, and another word that you can't say anymore. They forcibly <laughs> take... exert themselves on people. <laughs> oh, <Whoa>, exert. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody better ever exert themselves on me, Jonas. <laughs> I swear to God, if I ever catch you exerting in your room <laughs> or well... exerting on you. <laughs> Swear to God, if you ever exert on it. <laughs> you motherfucker. I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm just thinking. Just about the thought <laughs> of you exerting on me. Oh, as always, we're playing offense only. Simming that D using that balanced playbook and uh, playing on all men arcade mode. And this team sucks and it's hard. <laughs> so, just saying. <laughs> Oh, he's back. Our running back's back this game. I told you he'd be back today. He just had a, a bruised giant. He just, <laughs> <laughs> his, his tampon got dislodged, ladies and gentlemen. He had to go and get that. <laughs> this guy being so GD good, he is trash in this game. Like, I haven't been able to run for anything with him. I'm about to trade him. We're about to trade him. Dude, he's really good in real life. Jonas, tell me, tell me your story about your customer service. Tales. Oh, okay, I'll tell you about this. Oh, okay. let me do an intro for you. This is Jonas's tales for this. Okay. So here, ah! Ah! okay, here's what happened. So, uh, two days ago, I went out. My tire was half flat. I filled it up and drove it a little bit, and it was fine. Yeah, that happens. And uh, so then the next day, I got into my car, and it said low, and I checked it again, and it had lost like. A third of its tire pressure again. So, so obviously there's a leak in there somewhere. Yeah, that happens. So, so I took it to the tire place, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Hey, I have a leak in this tire. Can you please patch it?" And they looked, and they're like, "Oh, we, you actually have our tires. It'll be patched for free." And I was like, "Okay, well I'm here. Give me an oil change." And they're like, "Cool." So I drop my car off and get a ride home to my home. Yeah. They call me at uh like two hours later, and they're like, "Hey." I uh, want to let you know we are testing your stuff. Your battery's coming back is really low. Mm. Um, do you want to replace it? You don't have to, but it's it, you know it's gonna eventually like go out on you. And I was like, you know what? Oh my god, this Just quarterback is garbage. Spend the extra money on the battery, Jonas. Yeah. That's what you got to do as an adult. Yeah, and I was like, f it. Just do the battery. That I go. He goes. I got the tire and the and the uh, oil done. I said, oh, you guys patched the tire, and he says. Yeah, we patched the tire. <laughs> oh, why to you, didn't he? He's, and, I, and I said, okay, cool. So he calls me back. I missed the call. And his voicemail says, hey, Jonas, just letting you know the battery's done. You can pick your car up anytime. But they didn't even look at the, the tire, did they? So I go in. They didn't. And I see written down on the paper while he's checking me out. <clears throat> no, no hole in tire. Yeah. And, and I said, it, right there it says there's no hole in the tire. I got a call that he told me they fixed the hole in my tire. Mm. And the guy was like, the guy I was, the guy who called me was the other guy who wasn't helping me. He's like, oh, I meant to tell you that when I talked to him. It's like, you specifically said to me, the tire is patched. I left mm. my car here. I'm on my lunch break. I have to do. Mm. And the guy was like, oh, well, if and the other guy, well, if they're losing air, obviously, but I'll pull it back in. I'll look. I'm like, has been here <laughs> so needless to say yes. and lo and behold they found an effing hole tire and they fixed it oh my god and he goes yeah well uh, that there was a good mm. answer battery is done come get your car you couldn't have said you to call me back there was a problem with your tire nope couldn't have told you that John. yeah oh yeah man that was my bad I'm sorry i was just gonna you know i figured that if you was, mm. why would i call you back if you said come get your car the jonas yeah man i was not happy <laughs> i would be about it I made it very well known that I was not happy, but I did not like, I didn't raise my voice. Well, I hope not. No, dude, I'm not like, I was just like, I didn't let room a day. I just was like, I'm like, dude, you realize that like, I left my car here so I didn't have to sit here because I have stuff to do. And now I have to sit here for an hour. Well, kids, I hope that sent a chill down your spine. Another episode of it's Jonas. It's just to let you know that the world is trash, man. Jonas's is tales from bad customer Whoa! service. <laughs> yeah. All right, Jonas, great story. No, it's not. <laughs> what? 
You got your great story right here, jerk. <laughs> what are you talking about? Whatever, dude. You talk <laughs> crap stories too. All right, I'm gonna tell a I'm gonna tell a crap story right All here. All right, Jonas. I like it. I was just thinking about because uh, I put like uh, I was thinking like it's bleach like bad to inhale. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Like, like, Shoot. Like you huff it? <laughs> no, like huffing bleach. <laughs> I mean, huffing it is absolutely bad. I mean, a lot of people put bleach in the sink when they're washing their dishes because they like to use the bleach when they're washing their dishes. Who does that? That seems wrong. Black people, Jonas. Is we, that what they do? We, <laughs> who is they? <laughs> you, said, you, see, you should say all people. You said black people. Well, as far as I know, I've heard this. I've heard. I, <laughs> I used to do it myself. I, I've known that this is a thing that I've known a lot of people in my family and in other people's families who share the same and skin the tone as me. Community. Yes. They, okay. Well, no, because I've never been to Africa. I'm an American. An American. <coughs> Black American home. American community. There we go. That's I, I accept. Is that, that what one. you prefer? Is that the proper nomenclature? Well, see, African American is like the PC terminology, but okay. I've never been to Africa. Okay. And if you were if you were German or your lineage lied in Germany, I'm not going to call you a German American. Or if you had an Irish or background European American. or an Italian background, you don't call them Italian American. No, you just call well, them be American. European because it's continent based, not country based. Yeah, e- either way. I feel you. Either way. So if we were like European Caucasians. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> See, like, you okay. don't do that. So I got you. I got we you. can cut that African stuff out. We because, can cut out the African stuff. Because I ain't never been to Africa. If you white, then I I can be black. I'm fine with that, all right? Okay. I, I'm, fine, I'm fine with that, too. Not necessarily opposites, even though canonically they are. Not necessarily opposites. I would opposites, they went by true skin color instead of white and black. Because no. it's not all black and white, dude. No, nah, fam. Don't be calling me brown. <laughs> <laughs> you want to call me the worst You're team in the end? Peach. <laughs> I'm calling you peach. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Yo, all these peach boys. <laughs> Don't be calling me brown. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not cool with being called brown. <laughs> Brown skinned is fine, but brown, no, I don't, I'm just, good. Just straight up, like, an, like a noun? <laughs> <laughs> Here's a peach, man. Either way, Jonas. I, I <laughs> Back to the bleach. So bleach is ble- b- bad. Ble- bleach is bad to inhale, yet I know a bunch of people have washed dishes in bleach for a very long time. Yeah, I think diluted bleach is, I don't, want, I don't really want to put bleach on anything I put in my mouth. I mean, it's just sanitary. It's just sanitization. Then you rinse it off and everything. Yeah, I mean, it's so diluted that it's enough to kill yeah. germs. But yeah. yeah, okay, I got you. And then I'm not like talking about micro dosing or anything. <laughs> micro dosing. <laughs> just don't want you to think I'm going oh my on that God, trip. I have a story it's about micro dosing. Bleach. There oh. was this girl that I knew, and she was like, "I need to pass a drug test, so I drink a cap." Oh of my <laughs> freaking god, dude! <laughs> I was like, "You're stupid." <laughs> <laughs> Did it work? I don't she know. She didn't get the job. She was dead after that. I don't know <laughs> <laughs> That's essentially what microdosing is, too. What dying? No, it's like taking small amounts of bleach or even small amounts of like. Uh, it's, it's not microdosing. It's micro poisoning. <laughs> It's like it's like you're just poisoning yourself a little. Yeah, it's so your body builds up defenses, Joe. Oh, Jonas. so then you can have a cup later in life. Start with a cap. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're just drinking cups. You're food. like, you see, it doesn't even bother me. Just <laughs> I don't mind at all. <laughs> sucking down bleach from your hat with the two bleach. <laughs> <laughs> two Clorox bottles. Two on Clorox it. bottles with a hat. All right, anyways, okay. back to like using bleach. All right, so bleach in uh, dishwater. Is a relatively common thing. Now, I've had occasions where I've used bleach to clean, like, uh, mm. bathroom stuff. Like, I'll yeah, clean yeah, it up. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely, yeah, yeah. So, I remember one time, Jonas, I was probably about 22. Oh, my God. And I put bleach in my bathtub to clean it out. And did you put ammonia in it afterwards? <sighs> you did, didn't you? Yeah, I, you almost killed yourself. You know that, right? Jonas, look. <laughs> Just saying. I didn't know. But yeah. I did it's notice that when I put the ammonia into the bleach water, Jonas, that there was this strange mist that started rising up from it. <laughs> yeah, and I looked pure, at it and I was like, "You're a toxic gas." <laughs> <laughs> and I'm looking and I'm like, "Huh? That's some <laughs> that's sort of, that's some sort of chemical reaction." And you're in right there with there. like the door closed. And no. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Let's stuff the towel under the door. Well, I don't want any of this clean gas to get out of here. 
<laughs> this gas right here will clean the mares off the toilet. I won't even have to scrub. <laughs> I'll just stand here and wait while smoking a cigarette. Yeah. Let me light a lighter. <laughs> but yes, Jonas, I did. And then I was just like, yeah, this is a lot of. I was like, and then I. Did you get lightheaded? No, Jonas, I didn't get freaking lightheaded. I had the door open and I did it. And then I'm like, something's wrong here. So <laughs> well, then. I'm glad I, that you're smart enough to realize. So then I'm like. I call. Who did I call? It was either one of my friends or it was my mom or somebody. And I was like, yo, uh, mixing bleach and ammonia is cool. And they were like, uh, no, you're going to kill yourself. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I just like let it down. But I did I did do it. You needed that like reassurance that you were going to die. Oh, I'm going to die? Oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna tough it out till I realized death was an option. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it wasn't my finest moment. It hey was man, not. we've all done dumb things. Yeah. What I do, dumb? <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> I feel every day. Be born. I don't know. Where do you want to start? <laughs> we have another story. Do, so. do you have? Have you ever taken a? I do. I'd actually had another story. It's kind of leading into it, but I don't. I didn't want both of our stories to be about bath, bath time. But Whoa. f it. When's the last time you took a bath, though, Jonas? How about that? Oh, my God. Like, I, actually sat in a tub. Sat in a tub. I can't even imagine at this point. <laughs> Does a hot tub count? No. Okay. For the purpose of cleanliness, not for... Yes. Animals. I mean, scrubber ducky. Get out the rubber duck and your shower cap and get in the tub. Back brush it, The whole nine. Um... You remember back brushes? Yeah, the hell? I had a back brush at one point. Some people still do because they like scrubbing their back in the shower. Wow, Jonas. Those I, things hurt like a bee. It's like a dirty, dirty ass toothbrush that you just like <laughs> scrape all your freaking funk flakes off <laughs> of. And get your tank polish <laughs> up real nice. Right? Oh. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, Jonas. Last time I took a bath was. Similar to a, the time where I almost killed myself with the bleach water, which is why it kind of came to mind. You were in the bathtub. You were like, <laughs> sweet release. Because I think it was like after I cleaned the bathtub, I was like, I'm going to take a bath. So I'm, I'm in the, my apartment, and I'm taking a bath, Jonas. And, uh, you know, I'm just like enjoying myself, Jonas. Were you really enjoying yourself, or were you like, why am I doing this? No, I was. Oh, it was just one of those things where it was like, let me see if I, if I get I any enjoyment okay. out of this. So I'm sitting in the bath, Jonas. Now, mind you, I had a music playing pretty loud because that that twin, uh, really raunchy adult movie playing on my computer. Now, that was just like that was just like in case I wanted to look at it, you know. Like yeah. you gotta have an optional screen All right, that that's just has that's a lot of work in the bathtub. Please. I wasn't in the bath. No, this was in the living room. Oh, okay. The bathtub is in the bathroom. Okay. Wait, you set up stuff in the living room in case you wanted a bath? No, I mean, I just had the screen playing at all. This sounds so bad. <laughs> it does sound really I just bad. had the screen playing at all times. Not at all times, you but just like. Had, you just had dirty movies playing all the time. Sometimes, Jonas, all right? Sometimes. All right, fair. Sometimes after you get one off, you just leave it play, and dude, the, for the and next time. I'm the time. deviant one. Listen, I never said that you that I wasn't. <laughs> In fact, I believe I had admitted many, many, many times that I Fair. am a deviant. Fair, okay. But so anyways, yes. you had you had you had movies on, you had music playing. This is a terrible story too. So I had the video on, I had music playing really loudly, and I had like I lit candles, Jonas. Oh my god! Look and at I you. got in the bathtub, dude. All right. And I'd been living in this apartment for about four or five years. Never got in the bathtub. Always just took showers like a normal human yeah, yeah, being. Yeah, right. So I'm in the bathtub for about thirty. Well, no, I can't even say that long. For maybe about ten, fifteen minutes, right? Right. I don't hear the knock at my door. <laughs> I don't hear the pounding at my door. But somebody knows I'm home. A uh, F in the maintenance man unlocks my door, <laughs> opens it. Now, mind you, Jonas, the hallway <laughs> leading to the front door was oh exactly God. parallel to the bathroom. <laughs> so you could, like, see him coming in? Yes. You're so, like, oh, no. So, honestly, I didn't even hear him come in. He comes in, and then he looks around my living room. <laughs> Here's the music, which was, like, Matchbox 20 or something playing <laughs> Oh. And like sees oh the adult movie God, playing dude. and then sees my big black ass in the shower with candles on 
And he's like, hey, your bathtub's flooding the apartment below you. I'm like, get the f out of my apartment, dude. Like, what the f is your problem? And he's like, well, I'm just telling you that you're flooding the apartment. Your water's leaking. I'm like, that's not my fault, man. Get the f out. And he gets out. John you know, never. I'm traumatized. I could imagine. You're like, I've never taken another bath in my life. I wasn't sure if I'd ever told you that story. No, it's a good story, though. That's, that's <laughs> up, dude. So mad and super embarrassed because now this guy thinks I just sit around listening to Matchbox 20, jacking off in shower, bat bathing all the time. It's kind of like two thirds of that is true. <laughs> <laughs> the shower was the only thing that was different. <laughs> That sounds like you're just more mad you your <laughs> That was that was one of the most embarrassing moments of my life, dude. And yeah. I was so mad, like I didn't go to the rental office. So <laughs> I was honestly thinking I should have just went to the rental office because it's not my fault that the. That well, yeah, but if it's leaking, they they have right to. It's like an emergency situation. He has right to come into your apartment. Does he? Yeah, yeah, dude. Dude, I'm in there. Like bathing. if if the, if the upstairs person flooded was flooding and we called the officer like hey there's water pouring in our apartment because the, from upstairs and they went up there and the doors locked and that it's going to be like well guess we'll come back next week because it can cause serious damage what if i was up there getting it or something man then you would have been getting it with an audience i don't want to get it with an audience some people do Jonas. There's certain things that they can come into your house. I mean, like, if you, if you, there's certain emergency situations, man. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but I yeah, was Yeah, but no, not I'm not happy. saying it makes it any better, but I understand why he came in. I was not happy that that man had to see me. <laughs> in You're a, in a very vulnerable state. Yeah, dude, with like very vulnerable. So many effing times. Vulnerable dude. things happening around me, dude. It was a very vulnerable time. Yeah, man. Well, fine. You, you know, know what? You gotta put yourself out there. I didn't realize that he had he had carte blanche to just come in my apartment and bat me in the bathtub. Well, I mean, that's what his purpose was. It's just to look at you. Well, why the hell didn't my bathtub work? You know? Like, know shouldn't man. you have tested that before I moved in five years ago? Oh, Sons of off. biscuits. And we're off. I don't know if you're going to make it, though, Jonas. This is a fast boy. Oh. <laughs> he was on my cookie the whole way. It was on your cookie, like a sprinkle or a chocolate chip. It was on my cookie, chip. like Cookie Monster. Wait, what? Is that how you eat cookies, Jonas? No. <laughs> Just stuff them in your mouth. <laughs> no. Just crumbs falling out every which way. You never even eat a cookie. You just put it in your mouth and it just falls out. <laughs> just, like, just like Cookie Monster. You just jam it in there. <laughs> just <laughs> and then spit it out, dude. Nothing. You never. You don't digest anything. I don't take the sustenance from it. I just destroy it. Nah. See, I like getting that sweet cookie juice. In my, never mind. You know what? Oh, man. This, this got, a little, got a little odd. Yeah, this is a weird one. <clears throat> but uh yeah that's what i used to do jonas i don't know I've, I've done a lot of things since then just to see if i still enjoy them like eat corn decided i don't like corn um yeah i'm taking a sh taking a bath won't ever do that again just don't see the purpose of snooing in my own filth <laughs> yeah it's yeah, only I'm like a good stuff. it's only like a good five to minutes of like bath where it's like therapeutic and then the rest is like just looking at your own dirt. Uh yeah, dude, I'm not a, I'm not, I'm not big on looking at my own dirt. No. So I, that's my thing about about baths. Yeah. And I'm not no. I'm good, man. I don't know, like girls seem to like them a lot. Like they lay in the bath and they read and they like hang out. Yeah, I tried reading once too. wasn't a big fan. <laughs> Just one time, <laughs> period. <laughs> Just one time I read. <laughs> I think I do know you watch videos over reading. <clears throat> oh, absolutely, man. Yeah. I learned from all verses like read See, way. I, I'm the opposite. Give I'm like, me why do all these news articles have effing videos? I just want to read at my own pace. No, nah, it was great. It's great for like college and high school because I could sit there and listen to, to a lecture and I'm like, oh, I got this ish. Yeah. And then when I have to read something to retain the knowledge, I got to read that ish like six, seven times. Uh, well, see, in my, in my case, it's like I can watch a three minute video or I can read the article in like 30 seconds. So I'd much rather read it and be done and not waste my time. Yeah, but then I gotta read. Well, <laughs> I, I would have to read it like six times. Yeah, well, I comprehend. So if you had to read it six times, it would be more than three minutes. Then yeah, I get it. Yeah, to internalize after reading yeah, six gotcha. times. All right, everybody. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content you have seen today.
take a bath. Take a bath for yourself. See what see if you like it. <laughs> see if you like it. Uh, for Jonas and TNT Dynamite. We'll catch you on the next one. We are. Oh.